Alright guys, so what is going on? David back with another LEGO Ninjago video. And so as you guys may know already, the main villain in the 2015 LEGO Ninjago Summer Wave is indeed named Moro. And if you guys don't know, the name Moro is based off of the English word Moro. Moro, or something like that. It's pronounced similar. Um, but just different spellings. And so the definitions of the word is the following day, the time following an event, and the near future. And so I'm thinking that since this word means the near future and Moro has the green ninja, green ninja outfit, right? Could that possibly be Lloyd in the future? Which would explain how he's in his ghost form? Now, I do not know anything about this, but it's just basically purely uh, off of the word definition. I was pretty interested, and so in ELA class, we actually were reading a poem with Edgar Allan Poe, um, and it was called The Raven, I believe. Um, and so if you guys haven't read that, Go check it out. Um, I don't know. Read it somewhere. Um, it's a weird poem, but I kind of understood it. Uh, the thing that uh, was like point uh, really stood out to me was that they uh, the guy was talking about like his the uh, lost girlfriend Lenore or something like that, and um, he was like talking about Moro and he said the word Moro and so I was like, whoa, that sounds like you know Moro from the Ghost season. And so I'm just like, I gotta search up this word. And so here I go searching up this word, and then I find out that it means the near future. And so I believe that this is Lloyd in the future, and that if they do not correct what's happening now, that is how, you know, everybody's gonna turn out in the future, which would kind of explain why some of the ghosts have ninja masks on them, or like, you know, ghosty masks on them. Maybe. The entire ghost season is based off of what the ninja will be in the future. Um, and so, I mean, this could kind of make sense. How they would be in the future would be them being passed away and then coming back into Ninjago to haunt it. I mean, it does make reasonable sense when you think of it. Um, now, obviously this could be a far-fetched theory, and not many people might believe it, but the fact that Moro has the exact same leggings, the exact same symbol on his torso, leads me to believe one of the two theories. Whether he was a, the previous Green Ninja, or he was or is Lloyd in the future. I mean, this is the only two possibilities uh, that I can honestly see, and that would explain why you get to see Moro and Lloyd at the same exact time. Both theories do make sense in the sense that in episode 44 you get to see Moro and Lloyd. They're in the same exact setting. So Moro could be basically coming down from the Cursed Realm from the future. And, you know, Lloyd is just sitting there doing all that good stuff. You never know. I mean, you know, the ninja had the technology to go into the Digiverse. I'm pretty sure they have a, you know, technology to make a time traveling machine. That's not going to be that difficult. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying that it, it could be possible. And in the world of Ninjago, you never know. So, it's just a little theory for you guys, so to get you guys thinking. Um, Moro does mean the near future, and so, mm, possibly, Moro is Lloyd in the future. I don't really know, but it's just a theory to get you guys thinking, and tell me guys what you think about it down in the comment section below. Uh, tell me if you guys agree with it, tell me guys if you disagree with it. And so, yeah, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe for the latest LEGO Ninjago news, theories, and updates. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on my next LEGO Ninjago video, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao, guys.